Lorraine Bosse Smith here. I hope you're having a great fit day. I recently saw the movie Good Deeds by Tyler Perry. If you know anything about me, you know I love movies and they always <laughs> inspire me, give me some kind of message. And there were several takeaways from this particular movie. Tyler Perry plays a very wealthy man who owns a business inherited from his dad and really is living out the life that his parents wanted him to have and does everything everybody expects of him. He's very compliant. Eventually he falls for someone that's not appropriate, meaning she's not from the same cloth and single parent and great story, great message. But what I walked away with was that word compliant and it's been festering in me since the whole COVID thing. Compliance is good to a point and then it isn't. And there is a fine line between compliance and being controlled. You can look at parenting. I've used, heard that word. And in fact, I was one of those children back in the day, very compliant. It was out of fear. And so parents, compliance is easy because the kids will do everything the way you want and what you say, but I caution you that somewhere in there is probably a child dying day by day because they're not getting to be who they want to be. Another situation is in the workplace. I was told by one of my bosses, and this was later on when I was starting to discover myself and my strengths and who I really was, said I was a lot of work, but he loved it because I kept pushing. And so it required him to keep challenging me, finding new projects, new things for me to learn. And I checked that box off and I was ready for the next thing. I became a stellar star employee but I wasn't always compliant. I worked hard, did what I was supposed to do, but I pushed some things. Look at history and anything that you're enjoying today, any technology, invention, somebody probably was not compliant. And that brings me to the last message of compliance and control. Be careful, those in power who are power hungry want us to be compliant. They want us to do what they say, not to question anything, just to take it at face value so that we can be controlled for their agenda. And that's really goes back to a message that I've been preaching for a long time is follow the money, follow the motive on things. Because oftentimes, unfortunately, there are ill-willed and bad intentions and our best interest is not at heart. So just be aware. And again, for parents, employees, do you really want someone miserable and being a carbon copy of you? Or do you want the diversity? Do you want the uniqueness and the creativity that can come from an individual? And I'm grateful that I was able uh, through my life to find and discover who I truly was outside of the compliance that I was doing as a child. So step outside of the lines a bit. Don't live in the box. Go live your life. Lorraine Bosse Smith, let's stay healthy, fit, and let's stay connected.